talk about what it would be like outside of here? Wow, this is where we're from. Such a big road out there. So much I want to do. You're never too little. Set your mind to it, you can do it. I'm putting my mind to some McDonald's right now, and I don't see it on my plate. <laughs> After premiering at the Toronto Film Festival and getting a great reception at uh, the Chicago International Film Festival, the movie Now We Grown is on its way to theaters this weekend. It is a Chicago set, coming of age story that'll take you back to a very magical time in the city. And among its uh, very impressive cast is Chicago's very own. Lil Rel Howery is here. Good morning, Knight. Welcome home. Good morning. Thanks for having me. When you when you come home, are there like things that you like to do, places you go? Nah, not not most trips lately. Because some I just come do the press run. It's all business. It's though. all business. Yeah. So I haven't had time to to do anything but promote this amazing movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no restaurants. Uh... Any shout outs, you know, so you can get free lunch today, I, I, anything you, you, like that. You go try to pull it out. I'm telling you, yeah. it's, just, it's business. It's, it's like, all it's business. Up okay, work. all right. <laughs> well, I, I, I want to spend some time talking about this movie because yeah. it looks like the sweetest and most thoughtful movie. Uh, these two, who are these two young men that are, you know, basically the stars uh, of the movie? Well, yeah, I mean, let, well, let's just, We Grow Now is to me a love letter to Chicago, right? And... Minhal did a great job of writing in and directing this. When you see this movie, it's, it's a tearjerker. Um, what I love about it is it did a great job of humanizing those Cabrini Green residents. And she did a good job of interviewing a bunch of people, and you'll see all of that in the film. It's like very, it's a lot of nuggets in this film, very specific nuggets that like she got from the residents and decided to put it in here. And like, even when I read the script, um, you know, being from Chicago, sometimes I don't think everybody does Chicago well right. and stuff, or represent us well. Yep. But this movie really does a great job at it. We did a screening last night. My family was there, and uh, it wasn't a dry eye in the house. It's a beautiful. It's a really beautiful, beautiful movie. Yeah, I love that. It's uh, you know that it's the like this, j just these very human stories because it's, a, it's about these two ten year olds, the best friends. Yeah. Uh, growing up at, in Cabrini Green. And, you know, often when there are Cabrini Green stories, they're so stereotypical all yeah. the time. And this one takes such a human route, doesn't it? Well, it's, it does, it's actually with any housing project. I think a lot of times, you know, the media has reflected housing projects as it could be extremely negative, but we forget about those families who are all living in these places. Yeah. And, you know, with the two young men who do an amazing job in this movie, Blake and Gian, they are amazing. They do a really, really good job of from their lens of how they see everything. Even the way she shot it, you know, you're literally seeing their perspective. And then just between me and Journey being the parents of the different boys, those conversations. It's, it's a, I mean, I'm one of those people, I try not to say anything because I don't want nobody yeah, to Yeah, you like, don't want to give too much away. But it is, away it's, from, it's yeah. such a beautiful, performed, yeah. directed, written movie. I'll, I'll show more and uh, uh, talk about it on Friday when I talk about the movies that are coming out because that's when this one's going to be out. Um, it, it feels like you're doing a lot more acting these days than stand-up comedy. Is that correct or are you just... No, nah, it's a balance of Balancing both. it. Yeah, yeah. it's... it's uh, so right now I'm preparing to direct my first feature. So I'm very excited about that. And it's a comedy horror and I can't wait for y'all to see it. Yep. But that's, that's what I'm jumping into now. Like I'm doing a lot of things with my production company and directing this is a, it's a new bug for me and it's, right. I can't wait for y'all to see that yeah. part of my career. We'll look for some new uh, projects. In the meantime, We Grown Now will open in theaters this coming Friday. Lil Rel Howery, welcome home. Good to have you with us. Thank you for coming in. We'll be right back. Thank you.